Hello beautiful people. Good morning. Today is Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday guys. Are you getting ready for church? Are you going party? It's too early to go for a party. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are good. I hope your night is beautiful, was beautiful. Okay, um, I apologize. This particular topic, I wanted to really elaborate it last night. I tried to do a live video, okay, but my network was just not smiling <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, so that's why I have decided to do like a recap. Okay, I'll make it so short. All right. Okay, thank you. If you're just coming across my video for the first time, please <laughs> consider subscribing, consider liking the page and sharing the video. Thank you so much. Okay, so if at any point in time you feel you're being taken for granted, it could be in your relationship, it could be in your marriage, you feel your relationship or your marriage has gotten to the extent where there is no respect, you know, you and your partner are kind of making negative remarks about each other. You don't value one another anymore. Okay, it's either you are threatening to leave or your partner is threatening to leave. Okay, walk away from the relationship or from the marriage. Okay, if you both do not have nothing to talk about, the communication is no more there. You both live like strangers, okay? Even if you're living together under the same roof, you live like roommates, uh, you know, um, if I could use that word. <clears throat> Either one of you are trying to avoid conflicts, okay? Because you don't know how your partner is going to react when you decide to come up with a topic or come up with any form of discussion. So in order for you to avoid getting into trouble or getting into arguments, you feel the best thing to do is just to keep quiet. When it has gotten to that stage where you can no longer confide in your partner, instead of talking to your partner, you find it more suiting and better for you to communicate with outsiders, for you to confide in outsiders, then this video is for you. If you feel like a stranger in your own relationship or in your own marriage, you you feel unappreciated, you feel exploited, you know what I'm trying to say, all those negative kind of feelings, then this video is for you, okay? I'm going to just share with you a few things, all right, that has worked with some people I shared it with. Okay, if you apply it into your relationship, into your marriage, and it doesn't work, then it means it's never going to work. So whatever decision you decide to take is left to you. Okay, because forever is a very long time to, to want to live once like a misery. Okay, all right. So but notwithstanding everything is workable everything is achieve achievable everything is attainable okay the say two wrongs doesn't make a right it actually takes two to tango but you have to actually do your own part first all right and watch what happens all right so the first thing you're going to do or let me just say um, what you have to do if you have been experiencing this kind of things the first what you have to do is you have to apply this method is called the boundary method right so this method is where you and your partner um, intentionally set limits to how you have access into each other's space right Yes, I know the Bible says um, the man and the woman shall come together and they shall become one, right? But the same Bible said wisdom is profitable to direct. So if you have tried to do the one method and it doesn't work, instead it keeps bringing issues, then you should um, 
apply another method if you really want to want your relationship or your marriage to work so the first one is for you to apply what is called the physical boundary all right so this physical boundary it's all about you knowing what you want knowing what you need it has to deal with what you're not so comfortable with or what you do not want from your partner it could be if you're somebody that does, that do not like um, public public display of affection, right? You should consider telling your partner about it. If you're not cool with it, if your partner is not cool with you in fading into his or her gadgets, then do not go close to it, right? The phones, the laptops, and what have you. <clears throat> okay. If your partner is not cool with stuff like that, then do not go into it. Because when you do, it's eventually going to cause problems and problems. So what is the point? So try to respect your partner's opinion and your partner in turn will do the same thing for you. Okay, so that is that about physical boundary. Then there's another one that is um, emotional boundary. Emotional boundary has to do with how you how you handle your emotions, how you want your, your partner to handle your emotion. If, let's say for example, you 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 there's an issue between the both of you, or you're trying to express yourself, you're a temperamental person, for example, and you're angry over something. To some people, they will want their partner to just hug them and pet them and that will end it to some people they'll just want their partner to just give them some space for them to vent you know to just say what's on their mind okay to some people they just want their partner to just listen all right so it is you that know what you want um i'm just giving an example when you are upset all right to some people they just want to eat okay to some people they just want to sleep and probably they're going to feel better so it is for you to tell your partner this is how i want you to react each time i'm upset this is how i want you to react each time this particular thing comes up okay so that way there's not really going to be an issue and you don't really expect your partner to read your mind all right it's not possible everything boils down to communication so you have to tell your partner open your mouth and talk tell your partner these are the things i want these are the things i do not want in order for us to reach some kind of compromise okay you come from that end and come to this point i come from that end and come to this point so that way we can always work try to work things out okay so that's that about about emotional that's that about that about um emotional um boundary okay and there's another one that is intellectual boundary so this one has to do with beliefs okay it's it's it has to do with beliefs you know you both come from different backgrounds you both come from different places you see things differently you have a different background and it is normal for one to have a particular belief about something and the other person to have a particular belief about another thing okay so but it's not cool it's not cool for either of you to feel that the other's um point of view is better than the other's point of view it is for you to respect whatsoever belief that your partner has okay if your partner believes that it is cool for me to press the toothpaste from the middle of the toothpaste and then you feel it is abnormal for for you for that partner to press the toothpaste from the middle you feel it is actually best for that person to press the toothpaste from the set from from the bottom of the toothpaste that is your belief okay so what you do is you respect your partner's belief Okay, that is the intellectual boundary. You respect whatsoever he or she believes, as long as it doesn't stand in the way of your 
relationship. It doesn't start in the way of your your co co living <laughs> together. <laughs> okay, so you respect that. Okay, that is how they see it. That is how they have probably grown to see it. And you can't change anyone. You cannot change anyone's perspective about anything. All right. So that is that about intellectual um boundary and there is another one that has really been causing issues um sometimes has led to divorce okay and that is the financial boundary okay some people especially when you have um let's say you you and your partner or you and your husband or you the husband and the wife um probably have a joint account okay it is it is their responsibility to share how the money is being spent okay it is it is for them to talk this is how one euro one naira was spent okay it's it's if your partner if you notice that your partner is the kind of person that does not really talk about or does not want to take responsibilities when it comes to financial issue okay and you have a joint account you could you could just go ahead and open your own account okay and make your own savings probably you split the expenses that you both are gonna make right so it doesn't look like one person is being stupid and the other person is um been something else okay so the financial boundary is what both of you really have to sit okay because there are several scenarios is this something that you both have to really sit and really talk about okay guys so um the last one i'm gonna bring to this because i said i wanted to just do a short video okay but Okay, it's fine. Okay, the last one is the sexual boundary. Okay, most people really have issue with this. Especially people that already probably at some point in their life were exploited, were raped, and all of that. Okay, they could, they could still be affected psychologically in the sense that probably there, there could be some styles okay of intercourse that they are not really cool with okay so it is for you to also communicate with your partner or with your spouse that this are the kind of styles or positions i'm not really cool with all right everything is communicable everything is workable it's just for you to sit and communicate with your partner okay so if after all this method and it still doesn't work then you can do whatever you want because forever is a very long time to want to live a misery a life that is full of misery especially when you've put in all your efforts you put in your 110 efforts to make it work all right, guys, so I hope this few <laughs> list of boundaries that you can apply to your relationship and your marriage to make it work. I hope it is useful to someone. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share the video. Till I come here again, keep living positive, positively. Keep believing in yourself and God bless you. Bye.